This is the Apple IIe uh, that I've been slowly working on. I recapped the power supply, I've repaired the badly messed up keyboard, replaced the broken keyboard cable. The machine's working fine now, which is really nice. And I've turned my attentions to the Disk 2 floppy drive that came with this machine when I got it. I just replaced all the capacitors. There's the ones on the top and the ones on the back. Hopefully you can see that okay. And yeah, you know, I'm a beginner level soldering person. <laughs> I, this is my first real major soldering project essentially. So I'm learning as I go. But uh, I replaced all the capacitors on here. I also replaced the belt on the drive, but the new belt that I got from console five, it, it was tight enough that the drive doesn't want to spin the disc when that belt is on it. So I put the original belt back on. It seems happier with that. So I'm going to stick with that for the time being. But after all this, uh, here's what I get. If I put this down, this is a known good boot disc. Pop that in here. I've lubricated all of the rails. Um, all the moving bits in here have been lubricated, including that spiral uh, gear that moves the read write heads back and forth. Used a little bit of um, white lithium grease on that, just a little bit, just to keep it nice and smooth. And when I turn the machine on, here's what it does. We get the classic drive rattle, but it never boots, it just kind of hangs out. If we look here, we can see the disc is spinning. It's, you know, whirring away, but it just does the drive rattle when I do the power up. And that's it. That's all I can get this thing to do post recap. I, uh, I went back through a few minutes ago and just went through and applied a little bit more solder to each of the, uh, joints. I don't know what the right term is. The legs of these capacitors that I put in. And I double checked that I got the polarity right on all of them. And as best I can tell, I did. They're in there. They're soldered. I think I just don't know what I'm doing wrong here. So if anybody has any ideas, I would certainly value some feedback because I really want this drive to work. It's real nice. Thanks.